All right, so everything in our layout is starting to come together, but the problem now is our columns are stuck together. So as I mentioned in the last video, we can fix this by adding some margin to them, but then you have the problem of how much margin do you add and then stuff doesn't really fit as well. So luckily Flexbox has a way to make it a little bit easier and it's something called justified content. And this is a new property that we're going to be using. We've already seen when we have Flexbox, when we do display flex, this is what's happening, right? The parent gets display flex and we get columns. Now we can add a new thing called justify content. And there's a few different properties on justify content, but one of them is called space between. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the extra space that we had and it's gonna put it between all the elements. So if we look here as an example, um, we had all this extra space that was left over on the left side. So when we add this justify content space between, it's taking that extra space and it's putting it in between the columns instead of leaving it over on the right side. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna exaggerate that a lot where I'm gonna change all these numbers, but let's make them like pretty small. So I'm gonna say it's 10, 20, and 30%. And as you can see, then we get all this leftover space and it's just floating over here on the side of our page. We get all this empty space like that. So what I can do is on where I have display flex. So it's always on the parent in the same place that you declared display flex. We can then come down and do our justify defy content. So it's just like that, two words, but they're hyphenated, all properties, they're always, and just like we've started seeing max width, it is max width with a hyphen in it. So justify content is the same, and then it will be space between. There are two other values you can use, we're gonna look at those in a second, but this is the one we're gonna be focusing on for now, which is space between. So now if we go and look at our design, we can see that we have this giant space between them because it's taken all that space that was left over on the right side and it's evenly distributed it between our columns now, which is awesome now in this exact situation. It isn't the best, but it is pretty cool. Now, the other two options you do have between um, other than space between, you have space around. So what space around is going to do is it's also going to put the space on the left and the right. Space between make sure that the item that's farthest to the left and the item that's farthest to the right stay all the way on the sides, whereas space around will put space around each item. Now, the thing that's a little bit weird is the way it evenly distributes that space. It's taking the space and it's evenly putting some on the right side of our element here and on the left side, and then it's putting some on the right side of this one and on the left side and the right and the left. So what that does is it does create this thing where the right space and the left space are always smaller than the spaces in between because it's doubled since this one you're getting equal spacing on each side of each element so these get bigger spaces than on the two ends so more recently they've come up with one that to fix that problem and that one is space evenly and what space evenly does is it tries to make it visually look like it's balanced this despite width despite anything else it will make all the spaces be even instead of um, doing that weird space around thing. So space evenly is a really nice solution, but for now we're gonna stick with space between and it's probably the one that you're going to be using the most often. Um, so what we can do now is we can fix the actual widths we had on here. Now, originally we had this as 25, 50 and 75. But the problem with that is that doesn't leave any space for our, our space between to redistribute because when we add all of those up, we're always hitting 100%. 25 and 25 is 50 plus 50 is 100. And if we come and look down at the bottom, we have 75 plus 25. So we have 100% space there as well. Um, so for simplicity now, I'm just going to reduce a lot. We're going to make 5% off each one of these. So this will become 45 and this one will become 70. So we take 5% off on all of them. It's going to leave us a whole bunch of extra space that this space between can now redistribute in between our different items. So if we go and take a look, we have our nice big gaps in between all of them now. Everything should be lining up pretty well and it is working out nicely when we go on bigger or smaller screens. Now, it's not 100% perfect because our padding is a, making these columns a little bit bigger than what they were, but for the purposes of what we're up to right now, I do think it is good enough and it is working really well, so I am really happy with it.